So you're thinking about selling your house and you know, interest rates are high right now. And you're going, well, I have a low interest rate. When should I sell my house? I, I don't know. And that's a great question because really a lot of people are dealing with that dilemma right now of when and should they sell. And so today we're gonna really talk about the things that you should be looking for if you're thinking about selling right now. What's up everybody, Mark Cannon, your local realtor here in the Phoenix area. And today we're talking through, you're thinking about selling, but you have a low interest rate. And should you sell, when should you sell, all those different things. So let's get into it right now. So let's say you have a low interest rate, 3.5% or lower. That's pretty good. We probably not gonna see that kind of an interest rate for quite some time. But you're like, hey, I have equity in my house. Maybe I'll sell it. I would advise you probably not to do that if that's your only motivation. But for those of you that are like, hey, whether I need to get a bigger house or I need to you know, make a life change or whatever it is, okay, let's say you actually need to do it. When should you do it? How should you do it? And there's some questions that we're gonna walk through. I'm gonna do a screencast today to show you some numbers. That way you guys can make the best decision for you, right? So let's delve into it here. Let me move my screen. So this is a affordability cheat sheet. Uh, I had another realtor that had made this and I'm just repurposing it. And so I'll, and if you want this, reach out to me. Will, I'll be happy to share it with you. Um, but we're gonna talk through some numbers real quick. So for those of you that need to sell and you're like, man, I have a 3.5% interest rate, a 3% interest rate, whatever it is. Uh, I had one guy the other day, 2.5% interest rate. That's phenomenal. He's like, I'm never selling the house. I'm like, I get it. <laughs> but let's say you have a mortgage right now of around $375,000. Okay, so let's say your mortgage is around $375,000 and this adds in taxes, annual premium, monthly PMI, lots of stuff like that. So let's say you're around $1,500 a month in, or a year in taxes. You're sitting at 3.5% sitting at just over $2,000 a month. It's really good. You know, it's like, wow, okay. And so really what I'm sh trying to show people right now is, okay, if rate, interest rates right now are around 7.5%. So, and, and again, that varies by, you know, a lot of different factors, but, um, you know, if you're sitting at just over 2000 at three and a half percent, let's say you went at seven and a half percent, about $950 more a month. If you were to, let's say, buy a house and get a $375,000 mortgage. So the same mortgage that you have now is $950 more a month. And people are like, whoa. That's a lot, and it is. And that's something to consider, right? Because let's say you have a $375,000 mortgage. Let's say you're able to sell your house for $500,000 and different things like that, and you're putting down $100K, $125K in this situation. You know, you're having the same amount of mortgage, but you're looking at $900 plus more a month. Can you afford it? And this is the biggest thing that I tell people is when we're doing a lot of these numbers and different things like that is – can you afford to make that change, right? So let's say you are making that change from $2,000 to 2950. Can you afford to make that change with your family? Do you have the finances for that? I, I did another video on this. I usually tell people try and stay under 30% of your monthly income for your mortgage. So, or living expenses, whatever you wanna call it. So it's one of those that you need to make sure if you're thinking about selling now, it's for the right reasons, but not only that, it's can I afford to do this? Can I look at this and go, okay, I can afford to have a $2,900 payment a month. And some people say, hey, in two, three years, I'll refinance, whatever, I'll have some equity. You know, and you can take that chance. And some people are right now, but there is no guarantee of that, of whether, you know, equity is going to skyrocket or whatever. So there are some other videos on that you can watch. I talk about um, expectations and what we should be doing. But if you're thinking about selling right now, I would love to have that conversation with you because it's one of those that it, there is no one answer that fits all. It truly is based on your situation. Can you afford to do these things? I would love to talk with you about it. My information is right down here. You can look in the description for links for me. Um, I would love to get together with you and talk with you. So I hope you'll reach out. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you could like the video, it helps me out. Uh, if you could share this with your friends, I'm just trying to be a resource, trying to help people understand what's going on in the local real estate market in general, especially here in Phoenix. Uh, and again, if I can help you in any way, I would love to do that. You've been listening to The Real.